La marine opère 24 heures sur 24, sous, sur et au-dessus de toutes les mers du monde afin de préserver la paix et de défendre les intérêts de la France. Ces 42 000 marins, répartis dans les forces sous-marines, d'action navale, de l'aéronautique navale et des fusiliers marins et commandos, sont au cœur des cinq fonctions stratégiques de la défense. Dissuader, c'est protéger les intérêts vitaux de la France en maintenant en permanence en mer un sous-marin nucléaire lanceur d'engins. Connaître et anticiper, c'est recueillir du renseignement pour avoir une appréciation autonome de la situation maritime mondiale. Prévenir, c'est exercer une posture de vigilance permanente pour éviter les crises. Intervenir, c'est savoir se projeter sous faible préavis en zone de conflit pour rétablir la paix, évacuer ou assister les populations. Protéger, protéger notre territoire national, nos espaces maritimes et la population. L'aéronautique navale est donc la composante aérienne de la marine nationale. Ces marins du ciel mettent en œuvre des avions de chasse et des hélicoptères embarqués, ainsi que des avions de surveillance et d'intervention maritime. En océan Pacifique, la marine peut compter, entre autres, sur la flottille 25F. Nous mettons en œuvre 5 avions de bi-réacteurs Falcon 200, les gardiens, répartis entre Tahiti et la Nouvelle-Calédonie. Sur chaque site, un équipage est paré à décoller 24 heures sur 24 et nos missions principales sont la recherche et le sauvetage en mer, la surveillance de nos immenses ZEE et donc la lutte contre les activités illicites, le renseignement et l'assistance aux populations, par exemple les évacuations médicales ou encore les vols de reconnaissance après une catastrophe naturelle. a peaceful and prosperous country. After more than eight decades, the Royal Malaysian Navy, or the RMN, has experienced various transformations and modernization phases to increase its capabilities in order to carry out its mission of protecting the country's sovereignty and maritime interest. Since 27th April 1934, the RMN has had in place a vision to ensure that the Navy people are always striving towards improving their skills with excellence as a benchmark. To achieve the aim of becoming a world-class Navy, the development of human capital, modern assets and infrastructure were planned and executed in a well-balanced manner. From the era of Brown Water Navy until Blue Water Navy, the RMN has progressed at a fast pace to establish a credible fleet at par with other foreign navy. The RMN's role and responsibilities have become increasingly challenging with the change of time. Various initiatives were put in place to ensure all of its assets are always ready to be deployed at any moment. The RMM will always protect the country's sovereignty with four-dimensional warfare capabilities exhibiting the skills and competency of the Navy people. Malaysian waters will be preserved. RSS Formidable is delighted and honoured to be representing the Republic of Singapore Navy to participate in this year's International Fleet Review hosted by the Japan Maritime Self-Defence Force. The RSN and JMSDF interacts across a wide span of activities, including cross-attendance of courses, Navy to Navy staff talks, port of calls, as well as passage exercises. These exchanges underscore the warm and friendly bilateral defence relationship between Singapore and Japan. The International Fleet Review is also a fantastic opportunity for RSS Formidable to exercise with navies from around the world. Such multilateral exercises, just like the recently concluded Rim of the Pacific exercise and Exercise Kakadu, of which many of the ships are involved in the IFR as well, are important platforms for navies to deepen friendships. Once again, on behalf of the crew of RSS Formidable, as well as the Republic of Singapore Navy, we wish the JMSDF a very happy 70th anniversary. We are very honoured to be invited to join the celebrations as part of the International Fleet Review and we wish the JMSDF many more years of fair winds and following seas. Pakistan 
a land of saints and ancient civilizations, of shifting landscapes, of colorful sights and melodious tunes. All in all, a state with a rich diversity of cultures and languages. Pakistan Navy has been a forerunner in carrying out humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations, both at international and national level. The salient include assistance rendered to Maldives, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia during 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Crew rescue of MV Suez in 2010 held hostage by pirates. Evacuation of hundreds of international citizens stranded in Yemen in 2015 and support of flood-stricken Sri Lanka in 2017. Cognizant of Pakistan's geostrategic location and the evolving strategic maritime environment, Pakistan Navy remains prepared to play its role in preserving peace along the country's seaward flank and contributing to regional peace and stability.